tonight's lesson is lesson 82, um, where we're finding the greatest common factor, or also called GCF. We practice finding the factors of whole numbers. In this lesson, we're going to practice finding the greatest common factor of two numbers. The greatest common factor of two numbers is the largest whole number that is a factor of both numbers. So that's what I wrote down for our definition. Go ahead. And I always use the abbreviation GCF. It's a lot easier than saying greatest common factor over and over again. So the GCF is the largest whole number that is a factor of both numbers. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I have find the factors of 12 and find the factors of 18. And so this is how we, you know, we practice doing like our upside down rainbows, if that helps you remember. So I just go, okay, 1 and 12. And I'm not going to draw my, my rainbow, but I'm just going to know that it's there. 2 fits into um, 12 with a partner of 6. And then 3 fits in with a partner of 4. And then I'm done. So these are the factors of 12. Then I'm going to do the factors of 18. 1, 18. 2 goes in with 9. 3 with 6. Does 4 go in? No. Does 5 go in? And then I'm back with 6. So these are my factors and I of 18 and 12. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the ones that I have in common with each other. So go ahead, do that for a second. Circle the ones that they have in common. Okay. So I'm going to use my highlighter and I'm going to go through. I'm going to circle 1 and 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, no, 6, 12 doesn't fit, 9, 18. Okay, so now I have all of my factors. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. You could even write that out again. 1, 2, 3, and 6. But the greatest or the biggest of these factors is what? 6 that is the biggest number that they have in common. So the greatest, the biggest, common, meaning with both of them, of a factor here is 6. So the GCF of 12 and 18, your answer would be 6. All right, go ahead and try the next one by yourself. It says find the GCF of 8 and 20. So write out the factors of 8, then write out the factors of 20. All right. For 8, I'm going to do 1 and 8. Okay, does 2 go in? Yes. 2 and 4. Does 3 fit in? No. So I'm done. 1, 2, 4, and 8. For 20, I'd go 1 and 20. 2, 10. Does 3 fit in? No. 4 times what? 4 times 5. And then I'm back at 5, so I'm done. And now I'm going to go through with a highlighter. Okay, and highlight my common factors. One, one, two, two, four, four. Does eight? Nope. All right, now I look at my factors. You could even rewrite them to help you. One, two, and four. And my greatest one of these numbers is what? Four. So my GCF, my greatest common factor of eight and 20, would be four. All right, use the GCF of eight and 20 which we just did to reduce 8 twentieths or 8 over 20. So we can use the information from the last problem with what we had to do is find our GCF. When we found our GCF is 4, the greatest common factor between 8 and 20 is 4. We know for sure that it will fit into 8 and it will fit into 20. So we're going to use that and this is like yesterday's lesson 81 where we had to divide by a 1. So we're going to do this. We're going to take 8 over 20. Now, and instead of dividing by, you know, 2 over 2, we're going to pick the GCF to divide by. And of 8 and 20, we found out it is 4. So I'm going to divide by 4 over 4 to reduce. And we reduced yesterday. So 8 divided by 4, 2. 20 divided by 4, 5. So 8 twentieths reduced by 4 over 4 gives me 2 fifths. Now when we reduce, you always have to um, divide the top and the bottom number by the same number. So we pick 
a form of 1. So we use the GCF when we reduce all the time to get it down to its simplest form. We find a number that can fit into both of those numbers evenly, which is the GCF, which in this case happens to be 4. Now try the next one by yourself. This time you're going to have to find the factors, the GCF first of 6 and 9, and then reduce 6 ninths. So go ahead and try that by yourself. You can pause the video too if that helps. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so I need to find my factors and my GCF first. So my factors I'm going to go do of 6 and 9. 6, 1, and 6. Does 2 fit in? Yes, 2 times 3, and then I'm back at my start. So 1, 2, 3, and 6. Now 9, 1, and 9. Does 2 fit in? No. Does 3? Yes. 3, and I'm just going to leave it blank as 3. 3 and 3. So these are my factors. I'm going to circle my common ones. 1 and 1. No 2. 3 and 3. 6 and 9 both don't work. So I have 1 and 3. So the GCF or the greatest common factor between 6 and 9 is 3. So now I'm going to use my GCF to reduce 6 ninths to bring it to its smallest form. So 6 over 9 going to divide it by 3 over 3 because that is my GCF. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So when 6 ninths reduced is 2 thirds. Alright, and here is your lesson practice. Find the GCF of 1, 2, 3, and 4 and then do what we just did. Reduce each, fra each fraction by dividing by the GCF, the greatest common factor. So when you do that problem, it's a two-step problem. First, find your GCF, then find, then reduce it by your GCF to get a reduced fraction.